Switch, How to Change When Change is Hard by Chip and Dan Heath is a great book for leaders and their teams looking to make changes in their organizations and for people wanting to make changes in their own lives. Stories and case studies backed by science to illustrate ideas and practices that actually work fill this entertaining and educational book. In it, the Heath brothers empower you to make changes with more confidence. Switch begins with the brilliant three-part framework for guiding you on how to change behavior in any situation in ways that are a bit more simple, practical, and easier. To change behavior, you've got to 1. Direct the writer, a person's rational side. 2. Motivate the elephant, a person's emotional side. And 3. Shape the path, the situation or environment a person is in. For Direct the Writer, the Heath brothers say that what looks like resistance is often a lack of clarity. Give crystal clear direction if you want behavior to change. For Motivate the Elephant, they say what looks like laziness is often exhaustion. The writer can't get his way by force for very long. It's critical that you engage people's emotional side and get their elephants on the path and cooperating. And for Shape the Path, what looks like a people problem is often a situation problem. They call the situation, including the environment, the path. When the path is shaped, you make changes more likely, regardless with what's going on with the writer or the elephant. Each of these three parts has three chapters. Let's get into it, starting with Direct the writer. Find the bright spots. A tendency to spin his wheels is the writer's weakness. His analysis almost always looks at problems rather than bright spots. This leads to analysis paralysis. To make progress on a change, you need ways to direct the writer. Ask, what's working and how can we do more of it? Use that bright spot to reproduce behavior you and the company value. Learning to recognize and understand bright spots helps answer the question, what exactly needs to be done differently, and makes change easier. Script the critical moves. Ambiguity or uncertainty exhausts the rider because he or she has to tug the reins of the elephant, expending energy trying to steer the elephant down a new path. Successful change requires translating goals into concrete behaviors. As a leader, you've got to give crystal clear guidance and think about the specific behavior you want to see. The writer in people needs a script as a guide to action. The Heath brothers state, don't think big picture. Think in terms of specific behaviors you want performed. Clarity dissolves resistance. Point to the destination. A big goal motivates both the writer and the elephant. When you point to and describe a compelling destination, you redirect thinking because the writer begins to figure out how to get there. As a leader, create what the Heath brothers call a destination postcard, a vivid image from the near-term future that shows what could be possible. Then, back it up with a script for the behaviors you want. The Heath brothers say, change is easier when you know where you're going and why it's worth it. Motivate the elephant. Find the feeling. The elephant is motivated by emotion. To motivate people to change, you must find a feeling. A leader taps into the feelings that motivate people to become interested, contribute their creativity, and solve bigger and more challenging problems. The Heath brothers say, knowing something isn't enough to cause change. Make people feel something. Shrink the change. If you want an elephant that is not hesitant about change, you need to shrink the change. The elephant does not enjoy tasks without immediate gratification. It needs reassurance that things will not be so bad. Hope, according to the Heath brothers, is elephant fuel. And when a task feels too big, the elephant will resist. Giving the elephant and people a sense of progress and making them feel closer to the finish line than they thought keeps the elephant from getting demoralized. The Heath brothers talk about using small wins, milestones within reach. Select small wins that have two traits. One, they're meaningful, and two, they're within immediate reach. Grow your people. The elephant must believe it is capable of making the change. The Heath brothers talk about a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. With a fixed mindset, people believe their abilities are basically static or stay the same. 
They avoid challenges and fear people will see them as a failure. With a growth mindset, people believe abilities are like muscles. They can be built up with practice. They will accept more challenges despite the risk of failure. As a leader, ask yourself, how can I make people make a change based on the way they see themselves rather than their circumstances? As the Heath brothers say, cultivate a sense of identity and instill the growth mindset. Shape the path. Tweak the environment. Leaders can help people make changes by providing clear direction, helping the rider, or boosting their motivation, helping the elephant. And they can make the journey easier by tweaking the environment, which makes the right behavior easier to perform and the wrong behaviors a lot tougher to perform. As the Heath brothers say, when the situation changes, the behavior changes. So change the situation. Build habits. To change people, you must learn how to change their habits. If the right habits are in place, good behaviors follow, and the writer does not have to take charge. The Heath brothers call this behavioral autopilot. They suggest two things to think about when building habits. One, the habit should serve and advance your mission, and two, the habit needs to be relatively easy to embrace. The Heath brothers say, when behavior is habitual, it's free. It doesn't tax the rider. Rally the herd. The elephant, the emotional side of people, always looks to the herd for cues about how to behave. In times of change, nobody knows how to behave, and that can lead to problems. The Heath brothers say that people do what they do because they see their peers doing those things. When the herd has embraced the right behavior, they encourage leaders to highlight that it is working and to publicize it. As the Heath brothers say, behavior is contagious. Help it spread. We've given you the heart of the content from Switch by Chip and Dan Heath, but you will want to read the book and the great case studies that provide context for true understanding of how you can make changes. Switch is an inspiring read and we will reference it in the future for making changes in our own culture at Calibrain. We hope that this review was fun and helpful for you. You can click on the link below in the description to buy the book. Let us know what you thought of this book review in the comments below. Thanks for watching.